re beware of double-minded GMS groupie demons Shalom first and foremost giving God praises honor glory respect and blessings to Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai Basham Rachakwadash salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. Now, the inspiration of this video comes from a video that the brother Manak Zakba did from South Carolina, in which when I was watching this video, you know, pretty much, man, I agree with everything he said in this video, you know, like, a lot of you guys who are just coming into the truth, man, you know, sometimes it's it's better just to learn in silence, you know, like, like the scriptures say, you know, a lot of y'all, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all come into the truth. You learn a little bit of scriptures and then you start going on this, 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 um, babbling spree, you know, and, and, and the scriptures speak about a person who, who talk too much, you know, um, and a matter of fact, let me see if I can find that real quick, you know, um, you know what here, I'll just, I'll just open up a fourth window real quick. Okay. The scriptures speak about, uh, See Bible, he that that babble much shall be hated. I'm just gonna uh, see KJV. Okay, Ecclesiastes chapter twenty verse five. You know, it says there is one that keepeth silence. You know, this this is a guy who just come into the truth, right? And, and you know, uh, uh, you know. Uh, just the king, you know. You know, if 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 you know, there there's still room to repent, you know. I mean, what you did is not a sin unto death. There's still room to repent, but hey, look, man, you got to learn. You can't just go on brothers' pages, you know, shalom, mock, and then you leaving all these comments, you know. You know, leaving all these 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 comments and praising brothers, but then you you go on, you go into the enemy's pages and, and and you're leaving comments there. You can't do that, man, because then what does that make you? That makes you a traitor, okay? That makes you a traitor, and, and th this is traitor from Google.com. Traitor, right? It says a person who betrays a friend, right? Because when you come on, when you come on brothers' pages, leaving comments, what are you doing? You you showing yourself to be a friend, right? Which when you look up the word friend, the word friend means an ally, a brother. Okay, a brother is an ally. So so when you come when you come on our pages, you leaving comments. Shalom, Ak, great video. You know, good good edification. Blase blase, dilly dilly, shally shally. What are you doing? You 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 showing yourself to be a friend, right? But then, but then when you go on somebody's page that we're against, and you start bad mouthing us, that makes you a traitor, dude. And, and like the brother Menachem Zagba said, that makes you double minded. So uh, uh please say, so hey man, hey if you don't repent. The Lord, the Lord's got your number, man. Repent, because hey, man, we 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 all need salvation at the end of the day. Repent, but but if you refuse to repent, well, well, the the, the well, the Lord, the heavenly Father is going to number you to destruction. Uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty, verse five. There is one that keepeth silence. This is a brother, you know, he just coming into the truth. You know, like like Yahweh Shai said, um, in the book of Matthews, whosoever, well, you know, let me just get it here. See, uh, okay, because you know, when you first come into this truth, you shall have the spirit of a humble child who don't know nothing. Um, Salak, so let me just start up some, okay. 
Okay, uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. And verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children. Now, when you was a child, you know, especially if you was, uh, especially if you was just a, a freshman going, going into a, a school you never been to before, you didn't have this attitude of, you know, you know, you knew everything. You didn't have this attitude of, you know, you know just as much as the teacher did, you know. You was quiet. You was humble. You didn't really want to talk to anybody. And, and that's the point. You know, you was quiet. You know, you was quiet. You was humble. You know, you was more ready to learn and to take notes than you were to, 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 to act like you knew it all. So, so when you first come into this truth, you got to come into this truth as a little child. One one that, that needs to be taught. Because like the scriptures say, ye have need that one teach you again. Okay? And, and so, Yahweh I said, verily I said unto you, except ye be converted. You know, you got to be converted, man. You know, that's the problem with a lot of you guys who, who just come into the truth. You know? You're not coming into this truth to be converted, you know. You're coming into this truth for the wrong reasons, man. You know. When you first come into this truth, man, it should be out of fear. Fear towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because you know what's coming and you know what the Heavenly Father is capable of doing. Especially since he's he's given all judgment to his son Yahweh So so when you come into this truth, it, it really it should be out of fear. Faith and fear. Those are the main essential foundations needed when when you first wake up to the truth. Because if you fear Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you're not gonna buck up, you're not gonna be proud. And when you get rebuked, you're going to humble yourself. Or at least you're going to attempt to humble yourself. And, 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 and even if you do, you know, somehow buck up after being rebuked. You know? The scriptures say a righteous man follows seven times to get back up. Okay, yeah, you've been rebuked. But, but, uh, but are you going to stay down? Or are you going to get up and take your scars like a man and keep moving forward in this truth? On the path which the Lord have, have given you. Because we've all been rebuked in his truth. Okay. We've all been rebuked in his truth. Hell. I watch certain videos. And I'm getting rebuked. Okay. Okay. Getting rebuked. Is a part of how the Lord is getting rid of those impurities. Okay. You don't want to be some, some gold or silver. When, 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 when the Lord comes, you know, here it is, you're, you're this gold and silver and you got all kind of dross on you, all kinds of impurities. You think the Lord is going to want some gold or silver like that? No. When Yahweh returns, he's coming back to deliver the, his gold and silver, which is the elect, that, that, that have the least amount of impurities, the least amount of dross. Because the scriptures say that our righteousness is likened unto filthy rags. Okay, none of us is perfect, you know. None of us is perfect. We, we've all fallen short of the glory. But, but that's what rebukes are for. Rebukes is, 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 is to, to, to help to get rid of those impurities. Okay. So Yahweh said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And like Yahweh said, the kingdom of heaven starts within you. Okay? The kingdom of heaven starts with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding being drawn out from within the Lord's elect. Which that's where you get the word educate from. The word educate means to draw out from within. So the kingdom of heaven starts from the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding being drawn out from, from within the Lord's elect men. Me meaning, meaning the Lord's elect 
is being sealed with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures to where they're, they're, they're stable enough to go out to be able to, be able to teach a, a, as well as grow in the knowledge, faith, and understanding of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So if, if you're not being converted by this word, then, then you know, the, the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, which is the kingdom of heaven, is not going to be, the Lord is not going to open your mind to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures because you have not sincerely converted yourself to, to, to being that new man in the image of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, and that's what you should have did when you got rebuked. You should have humbled yourself. But instead, you wanted to go on the enemy's page complaining that, that, that you got cut by a brother. You got cut by several brothers. So now look, you put yourself in the spotlight, dude. Okay? You've, you've made yourself infamous. Okay? It says, And whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, you know, hey, and, and you know what? Take it from me, man. Because there was times when I had to learn the hard way, you know. I mean, yeah, you know, I got rebuked, you know. You know, I got all butt hurt. I ended up bucking up. And guess what? I, I ended up getting kicked out. Of, I ended up getting kicked out of the Great Waters Camp for it. Okay, but guess what? I did, I did not let that stop me from, from, from continuing to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. You know, I took my, I, I, no, I stood back up, I took my scars, and I, I continued to walk in this thing, man. You know, like, like Apostle Gabar said, this truth is a thing of humility. Okay, and, 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 and when you look up the word humility, you know what, I already know what the word means, but let's just look it up again. Let's look up the word, because like Apostle Gabar said, this truth is a thing of humility. Humility definition. Humility. This is humility from Google.com. It says a modest or low view of one's importance, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, the, the Lord don't need us. It tells you that in the Holy Scriptures. The Lord could have raised up stones to wake up uh, the nation of Israel. The Lord could have raised up stones to wake up our people. The Lord don't need us. The Lord did not have to wake me up to this thing. The Lord could have kept my, my worthless ass out in the world. You know, I could have still been out there in the world, waking up every day. My whole day would have been just video games. You know, pursuing my dream of becoming a video game designer. You know, still smoking weed, nappy ass head, smooth face. <laughs> you know, fucking smoking weed, playing video games. Just bugged out of my fucking mind. But no, the Lord, the Lord chose me. <laughs> You know, won't you know one one out of a billion people on the fucking planet? The Lord chose me and woke me up to this truth. You know, the Lord didn't have to choose me. So, so it's very important to exercise humbleness and humility in this truth. Okay, and, and that's the point, man. You know. And a matter of fact, a, 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 a good example of uh, of humility is um this right here, Philippians chapter two. I mean, I believe it's yeah. Okay, Philippians chapter two, verse five. It says, "Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach." Now let's go to verse six. Okay. It says, who being in the form of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh. Oh, oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back to that. Okay, hold on. Let me reread that again. Salakia, slip of the tongue, not with the heart. Uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 6. Let this mind be also in you, Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind be in you, who was also in, you know, uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, yeah, Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Verse 6. Who being in a form of Yahweh, thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh. 
verse 7. Okay, Yahweh Shai showed us the perfect example of humility, but made himself of no reputation because, you know, that's another thing with, with, with guys that come into this truth, you know. They come into this truth seeking some kind of reputation, you know. And, and that that's where the deep demon starts to jump on a lot of these guys, you know. They think that, <laughs> you know, you know, I know this secret breakdown. I can go to this with this precept and that precept and this, that, this, that, and the other, yeah, you know. And, and just like that, you know. You start thinking that you know more than brothers. You start looking down on brothers. And the scriptures tell you that knowledge puffeth up. Okay? You know? And, and that's why, that's why when it comes to growing in this truth, you have to grow with temperance. You know? Yeah, because the, the Lord might reveal certain things to you. But what do the scriptures also say? The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. Because what you know, the Lord can also take away from you. Like like it tells you, is that in the book of Luke, the 12th or 14th chapter, where Yahweh said, uh, even that which he hath shall be taken away from him. You know? And that, that goes for any one of us. You know? What we know, the Lord can easily take away. Like it tells you in uh, Psalms chapter 51 verse verse 11, you know, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. And that's why prayer and fasting and being humbled and filled with humility is very important, man. They, uh, they all go hand in hand, you see. So Yahweh Shai made himself of no reputation, but took upon him the form of a servant. So Yahweh Shai took upon him the form of a slave. Do you know how much humility that took? Here it is, the son of the Most High took upon him the form of a slave. But but you can't humble yourself, dude. You can't humble yourself after taking rebuke. But Yahweh Shai took on the form of a servant. Come on, man. Yahweh Shai took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Right, because Yahweh Shai was, was born through Joseph and Mary, which means Joseph and Mary had sex. And, and Joseph uh, got Mary pregnant with Yahweh Shai, and Mary gave birth to Yahweh Shai. Okay? But not to get off topic, okay? So humility, okay? It says a modest or low view of one's own importance. It says humbleness. So when you have when you have humility, you don't see yourself as being this important figure in the truth. You know? You don't see yourself as being this 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 almighty, I know it all, I know this precept, that precept. You know, like you don't see yourself as being this 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 top priority person in the truth. As as if the brotherhood needs you. You know? You don't see yourself as that top figure. Okay? Because trust me, if the Lord wanted a super soldier Hebrew Israelite in this truth, then then, then the Lord the Lord would have done that from the very beginning. Okay? The Lord the Lord would have done that from, from the very beginning. He would have raised up a super soldier Hebrew Israelite. That knew every single precept, had had a super memory, had, had this super memory, could memorize every single verse in the Holy Scriptures. He wouldn't even need a Bible. He could just quote every scripture in the Bible. You know? Man, man, man will be a you no, know, this dude will be so on fire that every time he quote a scripture, smoke, smoke and fire will come out of his mouth. People would be amazed at, 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 at how he's teaching. But guess what? The Lord did not set it up that way, okay? So guess what? The Lord is not looking for some super soldier, you know, Hebrew Israelite. 
Okay, the Lord is looking for men who are willing to humble them, who are willing to humble themselves, be filled with, with humility, and acknowledge their transgressions, their sins before Him. That's who the Lord is looking for: a man that is of a broken and a contrite spirit. And that trembleth at his word. Because again, if you tremble at the word of Yahweh, you're going to be afraid to, 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 uh, you know, you're going to be afraid to buck up against the word of Yahweh. And ultimately, you know, ultimately, you know, you know that you're in the spirit because when brothers rebuke you, it's really not the brothers rebuking you. Okay? It's not the brothers rebuking you. That's the Lord rebuking you through those brothers. And a matter of fact, let's prove that real quick. Luke chapter 1 verse 71. No. Okay. I think it's Luke chapter 1 verse 78. Let's prove that, that that the Lord is the one rebuking you. Let's see central F, let's type in holy. Okay. Okay, oh, here it is. I was off by a verse. Luke chapter 1, verse 70. It says, You know what? Let me start at verse 69 first. Luke chapter 1, verse 69. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Okay, in the house of David, it's really talking about the elect, the ones who's building the house of David. Okay, Luke chapter 1, verse 70. It says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Who spake by the mouth of his holy prophets? The Lord. The Lord is the one who speak by the mouth of his holy prophets. So, so when you get rebuked by a brother that's walking in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, that's not the brother rebuking you. That's the Lord rebuking you through that brother. Okay, I just read it right here. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Okay, so if, if you're in the spirit and you're getting rebuked by a brother, that's not the brother rebuking you. That's the Lord rebuking you through that prophet. Okay? And that's why, you know, like Job said, let me just get it. Job chapter 5 verse, I don't think it's 17, but okay. No, that, that's the spirit. The Wadi Hawa, the Wadi Hawa Shai. Job chapter 5 verse 17. You know, the Wadi Hawa, the Wadi Hawa Shai. Job chapter 5 verse 17. Behold, Happy is the man whom Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai corrective. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Well there you go. That proved that, that this further proves that the Lord is rebuking you through brothers. Because at the end of the day, the rebuke from brothers is really chastisement of the Almighty. Okay, therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Okay, so behold, happy is the man whom Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah corrective. You know, so, 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 when brothers rebuke you, man, it's really, it's really to, to, to help you, it's really to build you up in, 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 in the faith, man. But hey, this truth will do either one or two things to you. It will make you or it will break you. Okay? And, and, and if you don't have stone skin, if you don't have stone skin, you know, if you have sensitive skin, then this truth will inevitably break you. You know? I, I remember some years back when, when Apostle Gabar had his, um, one of his original pages called the GMS Walk and Talk. I remember he did a gym, he did a GMS mailbag called Stone Skin. Okay? 
Let's 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 look that up. Okay? Stone skin because when you have stone skin, you don't let you don't let you know the the, the you don't you don't let the negative impact of words get to you easily. You know? Because the person who is soft skinned, they're going to easily be offended at at at, at, uh, at, at how at how people word certain things, you know. You know, and I, I I have a test I have a testimony to that because I believe it was I believe it was um three days ago. You no, know, three days ago I had I had to I had to deal with this Karen because um you no know, I basically went into a a pizzeria to basically sit down and eat. You know, because I I had ordered food from another place, so you know I went inside of this pizza pizzeria to sit down and eat, right? And then you know this this Karen comes up with this nasty attitude, you know. She you no, know, she's coming at me with this nasty attitude, raising her voice, you know, this that forth and the other. Hey, guess what? I didn't let her negative attitude impact my outcome, you know. I play a, hey, I I applied. Matthews the tenth chapter, where where Yahawashai said, "Be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves." You know, I just kind of backed off, like, "All right, all right." You know, I just backed off. You know, you know, I kept a cool head because a, I could have easily yelled back at her. I could have easily cursed her ass out, called her the b word, called her a whore, a slut. You know, I could have told her ass. You know, I I, I could have said all kinds of nasty mean shit to her. Okay, and 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 she looked like an Edomite, you know. But through the spirit, she had the spirit. She had the spirit of uh, of the nigger woman on her. So so I perceived that she could have been it. I perceived that she, at the end of the day, she could have been an Israelite, you know, the 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 the, the nigger woman in disguise. Okay. She might have looked like a so-called white woman, but her attitude was that of a fucking nigger woman, okay? Cause hey, there's a lot of Italian chicks out there. Their their fathers their father's lineage on their father's side really go back to Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. But um You know, like I said, you know, I didn't I didn't let her words get to me easily. You know, I didn't let the fact that she was yelling at me get to me easily. I kept a cool head. I applied Matthew the tenth chapter: "Be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves." And, and you know, I just, I just kept going on about my business. You know, I sat down. I ate in a restaurant. You know, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I was heated concerning the fact that she's the weaker vessel talking to me, like 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 I'm some kind of child or something. But you know what? I didn't let that get to me. You know, I just. Kept a cool head. You know, I sat down. I ate. You know, I remained quiet. You know, and, and you know, the other day, you know, the day before that, I went to the laundromat. You know, just when I was about to wash my clothes, this this big nose looking rat wearing glasses gonna have the nerve to tell me no, no. Last load was at three thirty. I got there at three forty. Three forty. He told me the last load was at three thirty. So I got there 10 minutes late. You mean telling me I couldn't just... It, it's not going to take me an hour to wash my clothes, you know. But he going to sit there and tell me, last load was at 3.30. You know, the, three, three, you know, the type of dude who say who, who would say 30 with the letter D instead of a T. No, no, man, it's 3.30. 3.30. Last load was at 3.30. You know. I was mad as fuck, you know. Then he gonna have to never tell me, no, man, no, it, 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 it's my birthday. I'm not about to stay extra late because you know this ain't. So I'm like, all right, man, you know, you know what I mean. That's exactly what I said. I said, all right, man. So you know, I turned around, I walked out of the laundromat. I was heated because now I had to wait an extra, extra. I had to wait until the next day to do my laundry. But you know what? I didn't argue with him, and and then, and then when I was getting on my bike. You know, getting ready to leave, I still heard this dude talking shit. You know, leaving leaving the laundromat because I could hear him. You know, he he was talking to some other guy. You know, like 
No, like, like, oh, no, 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 while, while I'm getting ready to get on my bike and, and just get up out of there, you know. But you know what? I could have yelled. You know, I could have cursed him out. I could have got up in his face, you know. I could I could have said this and that. But you know what I did? I I, I applied Matthew chapter 10, the, 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 the 10th chapter. Be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Okay? Because when you're wise as a serpent, you understand at the end of the day, it's, it's just Satan testing you. So you know what? I just kept quiet. I didn't say anything else to him. I didn't yell at him. I didn't curse him out. I didn't say, you know what? F you. I, I didn't say any of that. I just got on my bike and I quietly left. You know, again, I was, I was, I was pissed, but. But you get the idea, man. You know, when it comes to being in this truth. You got to learn how to be stone skinned. Okay? You got to learn how to be stone skinned. When you get rebuked, when you get rebuked, you can't you can't just, you know, let brothers rebuking you get to you so easily, man. You know? You got to get out of that that nigga mentality because you see we were all born and raised in America, so you know, because the vast majority of us were, were, were raised by our mothers, we grew up, you know, with the mentality of, if somebody say something wrong to us, you know, immediately we got to get on the, the, the defensive side and say something back. And, and based on what that person say back to you, it can result in a fight. And, and that's how, that's how things are not supposed to be. Things should not be like that. You know? Because then at that point, you're dealing with emotions. You're not dealing with logic. Stone skin meaning. You know? And we, we were all raised in this society. You know, we were all raised like that in this society. Somebody say something wrong to you, you ready, you ready, you ready to, to, to fight this dude in order to defend your personal pride. Well, the Lord is not dealing with personal pride, you know. Sometimes you just got to take the low, man. Even if you are in the right. You know, there were several times when, when I had to take the low, even though I was in the right, you know. I just kept quiet, you know, I prayed to the I prayed to the Lord to have mercy on me, you know. And there there See let me see, hold on. What does it mean to have stone skin? Yeah, see, they're just stone skin. All right, so yeah, they're 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 uh, they're they're they're, they're just gonna play stupid. All right, um, so let's let's just type in the word stone definition, okay? So this is the definition of stone from Google.com. Stone. And here it says hard, solid. Okay? Solid. Think about that. You know? And when it comes to being stone skin, that's not talking about, you know, the your the the skin on, on your entire body is made of stone. No, being stone skin is a mental thing. It is a spiritual thing. You know? Like, uh, like, like they, they gave you some examples using video games here. Like, um, where's Diablo 2 at? Okay. Okay. 
Here, I'll just go to because um, Diablo 2 is an actual game on the PC and the PS4, right? So here, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just read this to you. Let's look this. Let's um click on this right here. Okay. Zoom in on this. Okay. So let's see. What is Stone Skin? Now this is from this is from a video game on the PC. This is this is um, an actual spell that um that that um that 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 one of the characters use. But check this out, okay? It says, "I have seen the word Stone Skin applied to the description of several monsters I've attacked." From indirect snippets of discussions about stone skinned creatures, I've I've read here and elsewhere, it seems that stone skin means the monster take less than the full amount of damage when struck. Okay? What I like to know is stone skin just a percentage just a percentage resistance to physical or does it affect all different kinds, okay? If the former are stone skin and immune to physical, okay. So let's see. Let's see what the reply is down here. Stone skin is a mod of unique monsters that makes them have high physical resistances. Okay. So check that out. High physical resistances. So to have stone skin, meaning. It, you know because you know don't get me wrong of course you know when we get rebuked we are going to get angry in some way we are going to get upset in some way but you got to have some kind of resistances to 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 your emotions when you're getting rebuked that's a good way to put it because when because when it comes to getting rebuked you can't let your emotions take over because then your judgment will be clouded by your emotions you see what I mean because when you're dealing off of emotions then then you're basically gonna follow after your own heart of what you believe is right and right before you know it you'll start believing that you start believing that 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 the ones who rebuked you was wrong and you was right, and that all comes from that all comes from your judgment being clouded by your emotions. Why? Because you had no resistances against those those negative emotions, and ultimately, you had no resistances against those demons. Because let me tell you something about Satan. Satan is a very wise creature. You know sometimes. He don't attack you right away. He might wait for you to get rebuked. And then as soon as your emotions start to kick in, you start to get all butt hurt, then then then, then Satan comes in and, and and he starts feeding on he starts feeding on your emotions. And right before you know it, your emotions starts to take you over and you're ready to fight, you're ready to argue, you're ready to, to become a demon, you're ready to start leaving bugged out comments, you're ready to start scoffing and scorning, you know? And right before you know it, your, your, your eye is evil towards your own brother. Why? Because you lacked the resistances. You lacked, you lacked having a stone skin. You, you, you lacked the resistances to, 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 to repel those negative thoughts from your emotions and from those demons. Okay? A. Hey, and you know what? In video games, right? In video games, when you have no resistances, you 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 you're bound to die really quickly. Okay? Try 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 fighting a creature that's a lightning elemental in a video game, right? And 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 and, and you have you have negative 50% resistances to 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 lightning element. Man, that monster is going to KO your ass in two fucking hits. So, in a spiritual sense, you want to have some form of resistances 
to those negative thoughts from, from those emotions when you're getting rebuked. E even if it's just 5%, it's better than 0%. Even if you have just 5% resistances to those negative thoughts uh, from your emotions when you're getting rebuked. Or even in general, when you're in the world, you know, pe people might be laughing at you. People might say some negative shit about you in the world, you know. Even if you, and, and Lewis well, I'm going to do a video on that. Even if you have some form of resistances, you know, that's better than no resistance. Because if you, if you have no resistance, then you're liable to follow your emotions than to think logically according to the scriptures. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to use this website as an example. Resist, when it comes to having stone skin, which ha having stone skin is, is, is a form of resistance, you know, uh, against the negative thoughts coming from your, uh, from your emotions, man. And, and what do I mean by negative e thoughts coming from your emotions? You might get rebuked by a brother, right? And then a negative thought might come into your mind, man. Who the fuck did this, this dude think I'm some kind of hoe or something? You know, did, 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 did this dude think I'm some kind of bitch or something? You know, like, like yo, yo, like, yo, yo, what's up with this dude, man? No, you know, like, 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 why the fuck is he talking to me like this, bro? Those are examples of negative thoughts coming from your emotions after getting rebuked. And, and, and if you think it like that, then you ain't got no resistances, you know, and, and you're liable to, 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 to go scoffing uh, against the brothers that rebuked you on other people pages you're, you're bound to make counter videos defending yourself no no man see no I see I did this no no man man see, no no you wrong here you know you're you're bound to start scorning you know and and a lot of these guys who came into the truth they ended up falling out the truth why? Because they did not have stone skinned. And ultimately, they had no fear of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And like I said earlier, when you first wake up to this truth, it is essential, you know, it is essential that when you wake up to this truth, it is essential to have a healthy amount of fear and faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Because if you fear the Lord, you know, your, your, your first reaction when you get rebuked is going to be to humble yourself because you're afraid of, uh, of what, the, what the Lord can do to you if, if, if you don't humble yourself, see? So Matthew chapter 18 verse 4. Okay, and whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Okay? And guess what? The brothers who have woken up to this truth, who have became as little children, okay? The brothers who have woken up to this truth, who have humbled themselves as, as little children, they are the last ones that people would look to to find the truth. And that's why a lot of people, they walk on by, they ignore us, they act like we're invisible. We don't exist. They don't take us seriously. They want to debate. They want to argue. When, 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 when we tell them certain things according to the scriptures, they, they, they just want to keep on driving by. They, they scoff. They want to laugh. They want to crack jokes. So, A, they mark themselves. And whosoever shall receive one such a little child in my name receiveth me. And that's the thing, Just the King. You did not receive the brothers when you got rebuked. So, you did not receive Yahweh Shai. Okay, Bible. Let's see, bless, bless. Are they? Which shall not be? KJV. 
Okay, Matthew chapter 11, verse 6. It says, And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Because remember what I said earlier, according to the book of Luke 1, verse 70. The Lord is the one rebuking you through those brothers. So if you're offended at those brothers, you're really offended at Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai said, Blessed is the man whosoever shall not be offended in him. Okay? Okay, this is the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Okay. Rebuke a wise man, and he shall love thee. So, hey, it's time to wise up, man. We're, 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 we're at the end of this man's kingdom. Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. This is not the time to be proud, man. Because, <laughs> hey. Like it tells you in Proverbs 18, verse 10, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So, hey, man, repent. You know, repent. You know? You know, take take these rebuke videos with, with a grain of salt, man. You know, nobody is perfect. Rebukes is, is, is how we become better in the truth. Okay? Like I read in Job chapter 5, verse 17 earlier. Happy is the man whom the Lord corrective. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to leave off with this scripture. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to leave off with this scripture. Let's go to Google. Let's see, okay? Uh-oh. Bible. But when we are... Because rebuke is a part of the chastening of the Lord. But when we are chastened, we, we, we are chastened that, that we should not be. Okay. Hey, here we are. Okay, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 32. It says, But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. You know, and that's that's what you fail to realize, just the king. You know, like, that's what you fail to, to realize, just the king. You know, you, you got judged, man. When you got rebuked, you got judged. Obviously, you was doing something that was going off according to the scriptures, and you got judged by it, okay? But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. Despise not the chastening of the Lord. But when, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. So, so there's a reason why brothers are rebuking you, okay? Brothers are rebuking you. So, so that you don't be uh, condemned with the world, okay? And, 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 and uh, you know, brothers are rebuking you because it is a commandment from the Lord, okay? Brothers are rebuking you because it is a commandment from the Lord. The Lord told told brothers to 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 rebuke guys who are going off in the faith, who are going off in the truth. If you're going off in the truth, or the Lord, the Lord told you that the, the, if you're going off in the truth and and, and a brother rebuke you. Okay, the, the Lord told that brother to rebuke you. Ezekiel 3 verse 20, I'm about to read it right here. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity and lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin and his righteousness, which, which he hath done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thine head. So guess what? If brothers don't correct you, for, 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 for the mistake that you're making in the truth, then that's going to be blood on their hands. So they have to rebuke you. <laughs> okay? Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that he that, that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Right? Also thou hast delivered thy soul. 
So bro brothers are just giving you warning, man. At the end of the day, brothers are giving you warning, man, from the Lord. Because, hey, hey, like the saying goes, it, it's better for it's better for brothers to rebuke you than for the Lord to rebuke you. Because when, when, when the Lord comes back to rebuke, guess what the Lord is going to be rebuking with? Okay, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So when the Lord come back, he's coming back to rebuke with flames of fire. So it's better for you to, to be rebuked by brothers than to be rebuked by the Lord. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. It's on to the next one.